Hello, friends of the vlog. Welcome to Wednesday evening. Am I starting the vlog in the middle of the week at 9.35 p.m.? Yes, I am. Why am I doing that? Don't know. It just is what it is. We're just switching it up. We're starting the vlog from my bed at nighttime. I just got out of the shower. I've been in this new nighttime showering routine and I've really been liking it because it kind of signals to my brain that work time is over. Usually, like ideally, I would like to shower as soon as I wrap up my work stuff and then like make dinner and have, you know, a nice little evening, ideally. What's actually been happening is I've been like busy with stuff and then I don't shower until like right before I go to bed. but. Either way, it's just so nice being all freshly washed and getting into bed. Oh my goodness, it's just the best feeling. Um, and yeah, like I said, it just kind of switches my brain to relax mode. So yeah, just hopped out of the shower, did my skincare and everything, which I keep thinking that I was gonna um, do an updated little like skincare routine in the vlogs one of these days. So maybe I'll put that in this vlog because I've really been liking my skincare routine. Like, best my skin has been in a long time. Anyways, my goodness, it has been a long, long day. I've just been working on videos all day um, for the vlog channel, the last vlog you saw, and um, for my main channel. And yeah, it's been busy. It's been a lot of editing. I'm currently uploading. Um, the i guess the last vlog that you would have seen um because it needs to be sent off for brand approval and hopefully it'll be improved improved hopefully it'll be approved in time for me to put it up for early access on patreon and then the video for my main channel i was just watching back and making sure everything's good i'm just like i don't know i never used to be this way like i used to literally just post like without watching my videos back but now with my anxiety i'm just like i need to like make sure i've just sat and watched the entire thing um like once or twice so i just did a watch through um and uh that one is good to go it's the video part like the whole video is finished i just need to do some finishing touches on like the description box and the thumbnail tomorrow um but yeah anyways i've just been staring at a laptop like all day so it feels so good to just <laughs> be winding down in bed i'm gonna read my book it's my busy week of the month um so i usually do two sponsors on my main channel and then either none on the vlog channel or one. I'm not gonna do more than one a month on this channel because I only upload once a week on here, but they always fall within like the same week just because of when the brands want them to be uploaded. Like I don't have um, complete control over the dates that I post my sponsored videos. Anyways, long story short, they always will be like within <laughs> the span of like one week and I'm just really busy that week trying to meet all the deadlines and everything and then there'll be like three weeks and I won't have any like ad reads on my videos and then the busy week will come again and it's just this kind of cycle and I try to space them out as much as I can I try to like prepare as much as I can but anyways um sometimes I just have like a really busy week and it's because of that um so I'm done two out of three because i have two on my main and then one on the vlog which would have been the last video that went up i'm so thankful for the sponsors that i get i only work with brands that i genuinely love and um i feel very lucky to do so it's such a big help to me so um i'm not complaining about the extra work because i'm very very happy to do it anyways oh my goodness i'm already rambling so much in this video um, so yeah, I've just made my little, um, my nightstand's probably a hot mess, but I just made my little bedtime tea and I have my book, which I am currently reading, 
still reading The Search Party. I haven't been reading it for that long, um, but I was talking about it in the last vlog, so. I am now 50% of the way through. You can see my little, can you see my little progress bar at the bottom there? And I'm actually enjoying this book. I really wasn't sure if I was going to, like the first few chapters, it, I was kind of like, first of all, I didn't know what was going on. And second of all, there's just like a lot of different characters, but I've actually been keeping up with the characters fine. And um, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of a fun little read. It's more like, I don't know if I would really, like it's not super thriller vibes yet, but it's a lot of just like, drama in their friend group but I kind of love it <laughs> um and then but then there's also like there's a mystery being solved in the midst of it because something bad has happened at this campsite that they're staying at so it's basically going between each person's point of view and they're being like interviewed by the police and then they like go back and tell like you know from their memory everything that happened during the days i think it's really r well written like i like the writing um and yeah i'm just enjoying it i've been reading like pretty decent chunks whenever i pick this up so i'm gonna read i read a couple of chapters um at lunchtime today and i'm gonna try I'm at 49%. If I could get to 60% tonight, I would be happy with that. I am really tired, so we'll see. But I don't think it's going to take me that long to read 10% 10, 10 of this. Um, I guess 11% of this. But yeah, that's been a fun little read so far. Um, and what else do I have to update on? I just brushed Olive's teeth before bed. She has her little bedtime routine now. It's so cute. She like she knows already like when I show her the toothpaste um so I've kind of been we've been trying different things my boyfriend's at a friend's house playing board games right now by the way so I had to do it by myself tonight which was a lot trickier a lot trickier because the way I've been doing it is he helps me by holding her and then I go in and do it um but I have a little toothbrush for her and I have the toothpaste but I've also just been, when it's too hard to use the toothbrush, like tonight, I had to just go in with a piece of gauze that I just like wrap my finger with gauze and you just go and like rub and that friction is enough to remove any plaque. Um, so yeah, we kind of did it that way tonight. I mean, I'm not doing like a super thorough job yet because she's not, she doesn't tolerate me doing it for like a lot. Like she's just yeah it's i feel like we have to kind of build up to doing like a full thorough job and i don't know how the heck i'm supposed to get like the back of her teeth like it's so so hard we've tried a couple times to like open her jaw and like try to get the back but yeah anyways i'm just hoping that her um i just got a new bottle of one of her um like dental supplement things which is called healthy mouth yeah she's done her nighttime routine i've done my nighttime routine cadence is here beside me as well there's olive and yeah we're just gonna get cozy and do some more reading drink my tea and wait for my video to finish uploading actually it's probably already done i can probably close my laptop but um yeah, welcome to a new weekly vlog. Going on a run, y'all. Going on a run. So just uh, documenting that. My first run in since July, I think. <laughs> Frig.
Okay, hi, hello. I have not updated the vlog. Well, obviously you saw me this morning documenting, going on my run, which was so good. I mean, just like very easy. I did, I think, six intervals of one minute running and then a minute and a half walking. So just very, you know, very, um, I'm back at day one basically on my training program that I'm doing. So, but it just feels so good to actually be getting out there and starting on something. I've been putting off like starting up, starting back up and exercising and exercising and exercise routine for so, so long, but I just, I really need it. And I, it's really a disservice to myself for me to not be exercising. So, um, yeah, trying to get back into that. I'm feeling really motivated. Maybe the spring vibes are helping. I don't know. I feel rejuvenated. I feel good. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I haven't had a Menti B in a while. Like I've been doing really good mentally. I think January was the last time or maybe like December, January was the last time that I was like mm, a little questionable, but yeah, I've been doing really good like the past for couple of months, I guess. Literally living for this black lavender tea. I cannot even express how good it is. Like I'm obsessed and I'm almost out. So I want to order more, but it's really expensive. And I also think that I'm getting some more teas because I think that my boyfriend got me this um, set of like different teas to try out that I've really been wanting to try. I think he got me that. We'll see if it shows up here. <laughs> but um, anyways, really in my tea era right now as well, which is great. So I have not been on the vlog in a week now because um, I was working on my plant tour video for my main channel, which both parts will be live by the time this video goes up. Um, and I was working on that for pretty much four full days and it was very consuming. So everything else just got pushed off and I wasn't really doing anything else. So didn't really pick up the vlog camera or anything, but we're back and I have some things that I have been dying to share with you. I mean, not really. That sounds like I have something exciting to share and I don't really. Um, but I got some of my garden stuff in the mail, like my seed order and a couple other like bits and bobs that I ordered. So I have a couple boxes that I want to open that are right beside me here. Um, yeah, I've been getting really excited about the garden and also just like I need to get seeds started. Well, some of them I need to get some of the seeds started and stuff. So that's going to be something that I'm working on. Um, also, I've been using this like online thing to try to plan out the garden, which, oh my gosh, I like, I don't even know how, I don't know. It's very, I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. So um <sighs> yeah, and all this garden stuff, like everything is just so expensive and I'm trying to just, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to make it work over here. But I've been saving those boxes to open with you on the vlog. And what else? I also got my book of the month box uh, two days ago. Haven't opened it yet. I'm saving it to open with you. I think we're going to do that later today. We'll do the garden stuff now and then maybe we'll do the books later. But yeah, other than that, what has even been going on? not a lot we had dinner hey girl we had dinner with my boyfriend's friends on friday and then yeah worked on the plant tour all saturday sunday monday tuesday um today's wednesday by the way so middle of the week but it feels it feels good i'm having a good wednesday this weekend is going to be really busy for me because i have my friend hillary's baby shower on saturday and then on sunday it's my brother's birthday and we're going to victoria so um yeah for the rest of the week i'm just going to be like getting all of my work stuff done so that i don't have to worry about doing anything on the weekend hopefully i can get this vlog edited on friday i should be able to but yeah busy things ahead actually just the next like from now basically until like pretty much through to the end of the year <laughs> it's just gonna be busy like i have a lot going on not really like probably not compared to other people who are like doing all kinds of crazy things but for me i just have a lot going on a lot to look forward to um a couple of big concerts this year like i was talking about how we're going to see noah khan that's in less than two weeks now which i'm so excited about so we'll be going over to vancouver for that and we're gonna kind of like make a little we're only there for one night um, but I think the next day we're gonna maybe go to Ikea or something like that. Um, 
And then of course the garden is like my, my main thing that's gonna be taking up like my spring and summer. Um, we, I think that Easter long weekend at the beginning of April, which is literally in like a couple of weeks, I think that we're gonna be doing some sort of deer fence around the garden area, which keep us in your thoughts because we don't know what the heck we're doing. I need to like watch some YouTube videos or something. But we just want it to be very simple so that it's not um, like eventually I'd like a nice like, you know, some sort of nice fence situation in like a cute little garden area. But for now, I don't want anything too permanent. Like I literally just I don't even care what it looks like. I just want to keep the deer out from eating my entire garden because I saw deer out on my run this morning. And that's the first time that I've seen the deer since like this year, I guess. Um, so they're coming back from wherever they went in the winter. They're coming back into the neighborhood and I'm like, oh, shite. Oh, so yeah, that's gonna be a project for us, which shall be very interesting because neither of us are handy and neither of us know how to build any type of little fence situation. So I'll keep you updated, but. <laughs> All right, so let's open my garden stuff so like i said there's two boxes and i ordered this from west coast seeds i've ordered from west coast seeds in the past when i did my container garden um i don't know if y'all remember but i guess two springs ago now because i didn't really plant much last year that's when we were moving and everything and i was gonna do a container garden last year and then i realized that our yard was full of deer and other critters that just literally eat everything um so i didn't really plant anything last year but the year before that in my old place i had a container garden which honestly like that container garden was kind of popping like i <laughs> I did a really good job of that. Anyways, long story short, I've ordered from them before and yeah, I was happy with it. You know, everything grew well. I have lots of leftover seeds from that too. I think that they say that they're good for about three years. So hopefully some of them will still be growing for me this year. Okay, so here is the first box. And right on top here, we have my Blackberry gloves. <laughs> so these are supposed to be like heavier duty gloves for pulling out thorny berry bushes and stuff they're made of recycled bottles so that's cool um and i have to move i'm gonna be moving our raspberry and tayberry bushes because they're they're just like in the middle of the freaking garden patch and i'm like this this is just not gonna work for me um so i think i'm gonna try to move them which I don't know. I looked at some videos, so apparently it can be done. You can like move the healthy canes, I guess. <sighs> Literally have no idea how that's gonna go, if that's even going to work and be a thing. But um, we also have blackberry bushes, like the entire left side of our yard. So I think that these are gonna come in handy anyways, since we have like three different types of berry bushes, thorny berry bushes in our yard. Um, and just like for, you know, this could come, come in handy for lots of things, but I specifically wanted them for the moving the berries um it's kind of annoying that the previous owner planted like two big raised beds full of these berries because obviously berries can just like take over a whole space <laughs> um and blackberries actually send out something through their roots to like kill off other plants around them i've read so yeah i'm gonna be doing raised beds anyway so i'm sure it'll be fine but they're just like very aggressive so if anyone has info on how i can move raspberries please let me know if you've done it before otherwise i'm just i've been looking up videos and i'm just gonna try to follow those and figure it out and do it myself i'm really hoping that i can just move them and save them because i think i want to keep them and just have them in a different area but if i can't keep them i'll probably just get rid of them oh it was so fun having the berries last year though i don't know there's just so many other things that i want to grow and they're in like oh, or maybe i could just leave i don't know i don't know <laughs> I'm, I'm so all over the place with like this garden planning situation. Anyways, next thing we have a little random butter lettuce, butter head, butter crunch lettuce. Um, yeah, I've never, well, I tried to grow lettuce when I did my container garden, but the birds just ate all of them. Like as soon as they started sprouting, the birds or like something just came and like ate all of them. So 
I'm gonna try lettuce again, which should grow well until we start getting hit with the heat waves. And then I just got some more potato bags. Wait, how many of these did I get? Oh, I got six. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh wait, I knew that. I knew I got six. Never mind. I thought I still had three left over from last last year. Okay, so I got six potato bags, which I loved growing in these. I've used potato bags in the past to grow potatoes. That's what I did in my old place. And they grew so well, like my potatoes. Oh my goodness, they were amazing. It was so fun to harvest them. It's such a rewarding thing to grow and so easy to grow. So I'm definitely gonna be doing potatoes again, but you can grow tons of things in these grow bags, um, not just potatoes. So yeah, I think I'm gonna use maybe three of them for potatoes and then, or maybe I'll do I don't know, it's hard to decide like what quantities I should plant of everything because this is my first time doing like anything bigger than just a few containers, you know? So anyways, I got six of those and there's one more seed pack in here. Oh, it's just tomatoes. So got those. I've never grown tomatoes from seed. I had a tomato plant, but it was like, I bought it as a starter. Um, but for my tomato seeds, I did buy a heat mat because apparently they need to be started on a heat mat. So I'm going to do that. And then my next box, this little one has the majority of the seeds and everything that I ordered. I also forgot to order zucchini, which is so annoying because I want to grow zucchini, but I'll have to keep my eye out to find the seeds just in store or something. Okay, <gasps> I told myself I was only gonna grow a few things. I was like, I'm only gonna like start very small and just grow a few and then somehow I've ordered this many seeds. So what the heck? It looks like more than I thought it was. <laughs> okay, so on top of the butter crunch lettuce and the tomatoes, we have a, is this a kabocha squash? I think so. Okay, we have a squash. We have winter boar kale, which I've grown in the past and it did really well for me. And this also is like cold hardy. So you can pretty much grow it all year round, which is amazing. Um, we have spaghetti squash, which is my favorite kind of squash. I love spaghetti squash so, so much. So I really wanna try to grow it. Um, butternut squash. Um, some scallions. Green onions are like one of my favorite things. I just load them on top of my meals. Um, I got this. Wait, did I get both of these? What the heck? I feel like I ordered like more than I thought I did. Okay, I guess this is it. All right, so I got these melons. They're mini watermelons. I ordered these and I've been watching some garden videos since I placed my order and everybody is just talking about how hard it is to grow watermelon. So I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have got these, but <laughs> the reviews were good. Like people said that they grew little melons for them. So I'm, I mean, I'm gonna give it a try. The good thing is that I have Southern exposure. I have a lot of sun in my yard. So hopefully things are gonna grow well for me. Uh, Lacinato kale, love this stuff. I cook with this all the time, but it, it can be hard to find. So it'll be really nice to just be able to grow my own. Cucumbers, these are like a smaller variety. They're called patio snackers. So I thought that that would be good. Everything that I could kind of get like a smaller variety, I kind of did. I just thought that that would be better since I'm, you know, I'm limited to a certain amount of containers and like raised beds. Some arugula. Oh, I got this wildflower partial shade blend because I thought it would be fun to use in um, the front yard because the front yard is north facing. It obviously does like during the summer get, get some sun from like the east and the west. So I thought these would be fun to maybe try out in the front yard. And then I got some bush beans. This is like a variety, yeah, tricolor bean blend. I'm really excited about this. Oh my gosh, these lettuce seeds are so small. What the heck? Are they even in here? Oh, I guess so. Okay, well, this is supposed to be lettuce. I don't know why it's looking like that, but, um, oh, organic, okay. This is just like a blend of a few different types of lettuce, I guess. And then I got marigolds. 
I've read that these are good for companion planting for different types of things and they keep certain pests away and stuff. So, so that would be fun. Thyme. I have a lot of herb seeds left over from the past couple of years. And I also harvested last year seeds from my cilantro and my dill, I think. So I'm really curious to see if like my seeds that I saved are actually going to grow because I've never done that before. Um, but hopefully they do. Anyways, we have thyme, we have basil. This particular variety looked really delicious. So I'm excited to grow that one. We have cherry tomatoes. We have a tall blend of sunflowers. So I have my Suntastic sunflower seeds from a couple of years ago um, that grew really well for me in containers, but I really like ever since having an actual yard, I really just want to grow some really big sunflowers because I love sunflowers so, so much. They're so cheerful. It would honestly make me so happy to see these growing around my yard. So I'm gonna try to plant a few sunflowers just kind of here and there and we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, these can be grow over six feet tall. Like that's so crazy. There's five different varieties in there. How fun, how fun. And then lastly, we just have some nasturtium. So this is another thing that I've heard people say is really good for companion planting and also just like really cute and pretty. Like even the leaves of these are really cool. So um, yeah, I think that those will look quite nice. Oh, and I do have one more thing in here. This is actually, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this. Okay, I had to throw this in. It was only like $14.99 and I was like, I need that. I was just talking about how much I love sunflowers. And y'all know I love birds. So when I saw this, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is so cute. It's a bird feeder. It's a sunflower bird feeder. So you fill up like this middle part with seeds and it mimics, you know, taking the seeds from a sunflower head. Like that is so, so cute. Designed to attract woodpeckers, nut hatches. What is that? Chickadees, finches, and many other birds. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so excited. So it obviously comes with this little hook. I'm just gonna stick this on my deck because we have like some little hooks up there already. So I'm just gonna fill this up, stick this on my deck, and then hopefully I'll be able to watch the birds come. I'll be able to see it from the bedroom window. Like how cute is that? I'm obsessed. Like literally this could be the best $15 I've ever spent. And the reviews on this were great. Like people were saying the birds love it. Like they're always coming and eating from it. But anyways, that is everything that I got for the garden so far. Okay, I just wrapped up my filming for the afternoon and now I'm just about to start my meal prep and I'm scared to look at it because last week there was a lot of prep to do. It took me a long time. Um, so I'm hoping that there's not gonna be as, as much to do this week, but um, that's what I'm gonna be doing this evening. Also, reading Nettle and Bone. I read another chapter of this um, when I had lunch and I'm really liking it so far. Like this type of fantasy, I feel like I can get on board with. Like I'm here for it. It's really, really good. Um, I'm only, what chapter am I on? Six? Okay, I'm just at the beginning of chapter five. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not very far into it, but I'm really excited to read more of that. And it's fun because that's the um, Discord book club pick this month and I never would have picked up that book if it wasn't suggested and didn't win the vote so it's really cool to be reading that and enjoying that so much also making a cup of tea I thought I was didn't push the button there we go making a cup of tea and um yeah I'm just gonna download my meal plan here and see how much prep I have to do hopefully not that much I did the grocery shop last night at like 9 p.m., which was unhinged behavior, honestly. Okay, where is this? Oh, here we are. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this? I am going to be obsessed with that. I already know. Oh, oh my gosh.
gosh. And this tofu rice dish. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a good week. It's gonna be a good week. Okay. The meal prep. Okay, tofu, rice, chili garlic sauce. I can do that. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. I'm just gonna power through. Okay y'all, I am done with the food prep. Just finished doing some of the dishes slash cleanup. I actually still need to wipe the counters down, but it is 7.07 .07 and it's, first of all, it's so insane that it's still light out. Like my brain just cannot compute that. It feels like such an abrupt change <laughs> ever since daylight savings. But um, what I had on my schedule for tonight was to pot up some of my Anthurium Bakeri babies because I need those seedling trays for my um, tomato seeds. <laughs> so um, I was going to do that, but then I just realized I'm kind of unprepared. I don't have my soil mix made. I ran out today and I, I just don't feel like dealing with it right now. What I want to do is um, read my book, Nettle and Bone. Maybe I'll get in the bath and read some of my book. That sounds really nice. Maybe I'll do that. I feel like I just need relaxation hour, you know? Um, so that sounds like a great plan to me. Also, I'm not wearing pants. I've lost my pants in the process of the food prep because I was moving some of the dishes over to the sink and I guess one of the measuring spoons had like the remnants of oil in it and it came out onto my pants. So oil on clothes is not a great combo. Um, so I'm actually gonna put a load of laundry in and hope that I just put some stain remover on it because I am concerned. I really like these pants. So hopefully that oil stain comes out. I'm actually gonna get that going right now. And then I'm going to commence with my wind down, relaxing, reading vibes.
Okay, I'm just getting ready for bed, but I have to show you guys how loud the frogs are outside. It's just so crazy. I love it. I hope that you could hear them. I'm filming on my phone right now, so it's probably not the best audio quality, but man, it's so crazy because it's like clockwork every day when they start in the evening, um, like around supper time, honestly. They just like all of a sudden, it's like a switch flips and they just, they just all start up. It is just the craziest thing. It's such a cozy sound though, I love it. Hello everybody, good morning. I am just doing my morning tidying routine. I always just go around my house and basically just clean everything that needs to be cleaned. Um, I'm washing my bedding this morning though, so I don't need to make the bed. Anyways, I just wanted to check in and um, say hello, I suppose. I don't even really have anything to say. Um, I was gonna come back on here last night, but then I just got too tired, but oh my goodness, I was in such a bookish mood and I was so tempted to open my book of the month box. Um, but then I got cozy in bed and I was like, mm, nah, uh, but we'll do it today. Anyways, um, I have a lot of, I'm like filming and doing some content for Instagram today. And then I also have some Patreon stuff to film. I wanna get ahead on that, so. I'm gonna be doing that. I shared a blooper video on my Patreon yesterday and everybody loved it. And it just makes me so happy because I loved compiling that, it's so funny. Um, also, I'm running late this morning because I slept in and my new life hack is not wearing makeup. Revolutionary, I know, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I just saved myself, like I threw my hair up, not wearing makeup. I saved myself so much time, so yeah, feeling really good about that. I've really just like not been wearing a lot of makeup lately. Um, I still love wearing makeup, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of these people that's like, oh my God, like makeup is so bad or whatever, um, because I love makeup, but just from like a, um, a, uh, what's the word? Utility, utilitarian standpoint, that's not the word. Practical? Practicality. Just from a practical standpoint, um, it's just saving me time not wearing makeup and I really just need to save as much time as possible these days because I have a lot of things that I am doing and like trying to keep, keep up with. So yeah, that is really, I've really been enjoying that. Anyways, laundry's going, dishwasher is going, so I'm gonna sign off. But yeah, I just wanna say good morning, happy Thursday, and I will chat with you later. Look at the dinner that I am about to eat. The noodles, oh my goodness, this looks so, so good. And then over here, we have this beautiful salad, and it is so delicious, I already tried a little bit of it. Oh my goodness, it has a carrot ginger dressing, and oh, it's just so, so good. So yeah, I feel like this is just, another banger the last meal that i made that i was obsessed with were the gochujang noodles um and this is not like a similar dish but it's the same noodles so i think i just have a thing with these um noodles <laughs> i slept on the couch last night which is kind of annoying Where's Olive? Oh, she's abandoned me already. Okay. Um, I slept on the couch last night because my insomnia was flared up. I could not sleep in the bed and Cadence kept kicking me and I just, I could not fall asleep. I had a weird evening last night, y'all. <laughs> weird evening. And I think that that just like triggered my anxiety and made it so that I couldn't sleep. Okay, so here's my tale. I was cooking dinner and, um, which was delicious by the way, y'all saw my a beautiful dinner last night i loved it but i was cooking that and when i'm cooking dinner i usually just have like a vlog or some youtube video playing on my phone um so i was listening to that and i'm cooking and i'm busy and i guess 
some packages were delivered at 5 30 and i didn't see the notification like for our doorbell camera i didn't get the notification that something had been delivered so i just continue my cooking and then i think like right when i finished i noticed that i had a notification that somebody was at the front door so I just quickly opened it to see what was going on and I thought that it was a person like delivering packages or I don't know, I was confused, but I quickly realized that no, it was somebody dressed head to toe in black with like black gloves even and like a hood completely pulled up that was grabbing a package off of my front step and I was like, oh my god. So I ran out there, but they were already in the driveway getting on an e-bike making an escape and I was like, well, I'm not gonna like put my safety at risk and actually chase this person down um probably wouldn't have got them anyway since they were on a bike but what the heck one of my packages totally just got nabbed and there's three packages from amazon on the step two of them were not in amazon packaging so you could see what they were and one was a box of diapers and the other one was baby socks and these are both things for my friend hillary's baby shower which is tomorrow anyways um, so there's two clearly visible like baby things and then there was another package that was in an Amazon box and that's the one the person took. So when I came out, I was like, why are you stealing baby stuff? And they're just like looking at me. Like I think that they were super caught off guard. They probably thought that nobody was home. I think he was just like looking at me and I was like, why are you stealing baby stuff? And I was like, I have you on camera. <laughs> I don't know what the heck else to say in that situation. Um, and then he just like biked off and I was like, what the heck? And then my neighbor beside us came and and because he like heard this commotion and he was like yeah that person has been circling around here for like an hour looking on people's steps and he came to tell us because he saw this person looking at packages on our step he came to tell us and i didn't even answer the door <laughs> i think that i heard the dogs barking at something but i was in the middle of cooking this meal i have like you know everything's on the stove i have my noise canceling headphones on so i was just like whatever um and nothing like this has ever happened to us before. But our neighbor came to warn us. And then a thief came. So the Amazon guy came. Then a neighbor came to warn us. And then the thief came. And that was the only time that I like saw the notification on my phone and clicked it. And was like, what the heck is going on on my front step right now? So I was so just like frazzled because what the heck that's never happened to me before and we don't live in a great neighborhood so i'm not super surprised and i know that stuff like this happens like people post about it in the neighborhood facebook group all the time not all the time but like people definitely post about it and you know the crime rate is yeah <laughs> things things are happening but yeah, I was just so like, what the heck? So then I'm calling my boyfriend and I'm like, somebody just stole a package. Anyways, he came home. Um, and then, and then the whole evening, I just felt like kind of anxious and off. Um, cause it's just like an off-putting thing, you know? And then I'm going to like worry about future packages. And it's just like, I don't want to have to constantly wa watch my phone to see these notifications come in. And anyways, um, fast forward to like quarter to 9 p.m um there's a knock on the door and my boyfriend goes outside and he's like talking to someone i can see a car parked there and he's like talking to someone and i was like what's going on like who's here at this hour and then he comes in holding my amazon package and i was like is that my like is that my my stolen package what the heck <laughs> Um, and he was like, yeah, some guy, like some nice man found it, just tossed, like discarded somewhere and he brought it here because obviously he saw the address on it. What the heck? Like, that's so nice. So some kind soul returned my package and I could not believe it. I was shook. I was fully just like thought that that package was gone. And the funny thing is that what this man stole, like what he went out of his way to come and steal off of my porch was not in fact baby stuff. It was in fact bird seed. <laughs> like my sunflower chips or yeah my sunflower bird seed that i ordered for my sunflower bird feeder <laughs> but the weirdest thing is you guys is that it wasn't even opened like it was unopened so i'm like did i just guilt this man into like dropping this package somewhere like what the heck or did he just did he accidentally drop it like what is going on it's just so bizarre that it's not even opened so yeah that was my strange evening um, my day yesterday was really good though. Before that happened, 
I feel like I got a lot of work done. I've really been trying to stick to my Google Calendar again and like time blocking everything out. I find that that's just what works the best for me. Um, and since I have so much going on here lately, um, that's just, yeah, that's just what I'm, what I'm doing again is my good old Google Calendar. Today, I'm gonna go for a run this morning. Um, I'm gonna try to run Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Today's Friday, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I need to water my plants this morning. That's what I'm gonna do after I finish talking to you. And then, um... I'm just gonna be finishing up all my work stuff that needs to be done for Monday. I need to edit Monday's video, do the thumbnail, get that, you know, um, scheduled and everything. And what else do I need to do for Monday? I think that's really it. Just like some loose ends that I need to tie up, like emails I need to answer and stuff. But other, other than that, the only thing I need to do is edit my vlog, this vlog, which I feel like I don't even know what's on this vlog like what it's felt very I don't know <laughs> I can tell that I've just been like busy and kind of frazzled because the vlog just feels like a bunch of disjointed updates from me but that's just how it is sometimes right oh my boyfriend's alarm is going off I think that's really all I have to say right now. We still have to open my book of the month package. Oh my gosh. And I wanted to give you my update on Nettle and Bone because I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed. Okay, so I'm doing my last watch through of this vlog before I export it. And I'm cracking up because um, in, I think, my last vlog, I was talking about how I'm such a procrastinator. And it's just something that I always struggle with and it really affects my life. And I'm, like, trying to work on it. And somebody commented. And if people comment this, like, you know, I've had this comment more than once where people are like, oh, you seem like you get so much done. Like, you seem so productive. Like, I can't believe that you say you're a procrastinator. Like, it really doesn't seem like you are. But even just in this vlog and, like, in a lot of my vlogs, I'll say, oh, I'm going to do something. Like, oh, we're going to open my book of the month box tonight. And then I literally won't do it until, like, five days have passed in the vlog. Like, it's so ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. I, I... Yeah, I don't know what to say for myself. We do end up unboxing it at the end of the video. <laughs>
hello and good morning it has been a whirlwind of the past couple days it's just been crazy busy around here um i wanted to give you an update on my nails that we were doing a couple nights ago um this color is called firewall by mooncat it's this really shiny kind of like goldy greeny gold situation this is where i patched it so you can see some of the texture through it's definitely not perfect it's honestly not that noticeable though like if you were just looking like i don't think you would really notice that um but next time i'm gonna try to buff that out a little bit better i just didn't it was my first time trying it and i didn't want to just like i don't know ruin it um, but it seems to be holding up like the um split in my nail isn't spreading so hopefully that just stabilizes it so that it can kind of grow out and it would be so nice um if this works for me because i hate when i break a nail and then i have to cut it off like this one is shorter i mean it's not that noticeable now because it's grown out for a couple of weeks but i had to cut this one down super short and it really stuck out from the other ones so yeah i mean we'll see if i'll even be able to keep my long nails during the spring and summer because the more things I'm doing, the more likely they are to break, obviously. Um, usually they just break when I'm doing random things, like I'll go to open a cupboard and I'll accidentally like jam my nail up against it and then they'll crack, stuff like that. It's usually me just being clumsy and like hitting my hands or like jamming them into things and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's my little nail update. Kind of a cool hack with the tea bag though. I was like, I'm gonna try that because I know that you can buy nail wraps for that purpose to repair cracks and stuff. But I wanted to try the tea bag thing first because that's just something I already had in my cupboard. I didn't have to buy another thing except for the nail glue. Um, so yeah, today's actually Sunday morning. <laughs> I was just editing the vlog. It's pretty much edited up until this point, but I'm obviously still adding to it because we're sitting down and vlogging right now for this vlog but um yeah running a little bit behind on that but it's fine there's just been a lot going on yesterday was hillary's baby shower which is really fun and shannon and i and i were helping out with the planning and organizing some of the activities and games and stuff and we went there early to set up um so we were i picked shannon up yesterday morning i basically got up edited for a little bit and then got ready um and then shannon ended up coming in on an early flight so i went to pick her up and then we had some errands to run we just like print some things off at staples and we were just kind of running around to pick up different things that we needed for the baby shower like last minute <laughs> so it was a little bit stressful but everything worked out and went really smoothly and it was lots of fun so yeah that was good and then I thought that I was gonna stay up and do some work, but I was just so tired. It was like 7 p.m. by the time I got home. So I just got in the tub, had a bath, and then read one chapter of my book. Oh yeah, I should do a little reading update too. Read one chapter of my book and then went to sleep at like 8.30 p.m. because I was just so exhausted. So yeah, really busy day. And now today we're actually heading to Victoria for the day. Um, we're having my brother's birthday dinner there this evening. Well, we're actually doing like an early dinner at four o'clock, which works better for both of us because um, of the dogs, basically. My mom has a dog and then we have dogs. Cadence is gonna go to her daycare today because she really can't be left alone for like, any amount of extended time, like anything more than an hour or two, she can't be left alone. So she's gonna go to her dog sitter. Olive's gonna stay here cause she's fine to stay here for a few hours. So we're gonna head there around lunchtime and I'm just gonna spend some of my morning. Um, I'm gonna try to finish editing this vlog. Actually, I don't know if I'll be able to get up this morning. I don't normally have a weekend where I'm like booked and busy on both like Saturday and Sunday. I mean, usually I'm booked and busy, but usually it's just like doing my own things, like catching up on work or doing things around the house, you know? Um, but when I'm like out of the house doing like events for two days, it's just very busy. Anyways, the reason that I'm popping on here is because I am dying to unbox my book of the month. This has been here for like a week now um, and I haven't opened it yet. So I'm so excited to open this. Let's do it together right now. So for the March picks for book of the month, there was actually two thrillers this month, which love that because I am a thriller girly. Thrillers are basically what got me back into reading as an adult. Well, that's not true. I mean, thrillers definitely have kept me reading and like kept me interested in reading and got me back into reading to a degree in my adulthood but what really like made me just 
fully immersed and fully obsessed with um, my love for reading again was the Song of Achilles. I was so shook. This is like the first time I've experienced a book hangover. I was so, I was honestly unwell for like two days after this. And I, just the fact that a book could make me feel that way. I was so just, yeah, it was, it was very impactful. And um, so I read that. And then also, I think shortly after that, I read Where the Crawdads Sing. And this is another one that I was just so, so emotionally invested. So I definitely started with thrillers, like Verity was one that just like, I was like very immersed in and that kind of genre got me more interested in trying out different books. And I started like finding recommendations online and stuff, which led me to books like this, which just made me fully, fully obsessed with um, finding more books that could make me feel that way and just finding the joy of reading. So love that. Um, why was I even talking about that? Oh yeah, thrillers. So there was two thriller picks for March and I just, I love me a good thriller. So. Of course I had to get both of them, <laughs> plus some add-ons. <laughs> Y'all stocked me up with book of the month credits. So thank you so much to everyone who has used my link to sign up. I hope that you're loving the books that you got in your box boxes. Um, yeah, I was so, I, I yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for that. I don't expect you to use my link, um, but if you do, I get a free book. So um, I'm considering these books gifts from y'all so bless up all right so the first one that we have here is one of the new release thrillers this is kill for me kill for you by steve cavanaugh i don't even remember what this is about to be honest but it must have sounded good to me um and i think that the both of these thrillers had really good reviews as well Oh yeah, okay. So this is about two strangers meeting by chance. And I think that they both, is it their husbands? Yeah, so they both have, um, oh my gosh, this sounds so good. Okay, I'll just read you the little thing. It says, one dark evening on New York City's Upper West Side, two strangers meet by chance. Over drinks, Amanda and Wendy realize they have much in common, especially loneliness and the intense desire for revenge against the men who destroyed their families. As they talk into the night, they come up with the perfect plan. If you kill for me, I'll kill for you. <laughs> so they're like swapping murders. Oh my goodness, fun. All right, the next one I'm pulling out, this is the other um, thriller that they had, Listen for the Lie by Amy Tintera. Again, don't really know what this is about. They kind of like, they're both rocking the red cover kind of vibe. Um, let me just refresh myself here. Okay, so this one is set in Texas. It follows two girls who are friends. And I guess one night, one of the friends is found wandering the street covered in the blood of her best friend, the other girl. Um, so it fast forward years later into their adulthood. And there's a true crime podcast that's going back and trying, or that's trying to solve this murder, I guess. And now this woman who everyone thought killed her is involved and they're trying to find the truth of it. I don't know. True crime podcast kind of thriller. This seems to be a big trend in thrillers and like mystery books, um, having the podcast, um, true crime podcasts as part of it, which I think I've only really read a couple like that and I liked them. And I'm pretty sure that this had good reviews. I feel like I checked the reviews for all of these before I picked them. So I'm curious to read, could be interesting. I feel like it has the potential to have a lot of twists and turns. Okay, now I have three more in here. Yes, I did another five book box. <laughs> I have a problem. Um, but these three are all books that I have been wanting for quite a while. Two of them were actually in my cart, like for my bookstore. Um, I had a bunch of books in my cart. So I saw that two of them book of the month had, so I was like, I'm just gonna get them there. Um, and then one of them is one that Literally, whenever I see it in a bookstore, I always debate getting it, but I just haven't yet. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm finally gonna get it. It's a really heavy book, so I think that that's why I've been so hesitant, even though I love heavy books, but still, it just, it sounds very intense. Oh, the book of the year thing. And this month's bookmark. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> All right, so the heavy one that I've heard such good things about and have wanted to read for quite a while is this one right here, My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. 
So this is the story of a young girl who is basically groomed and enters into a relationship with her teacher. So it follows, I think that this, it follows like when that was happening when she was a kid and then growing up and her kind of reflecting on it and just, um, yeah, it's supposed to be a really dark, heavy, emotional read. Um, I've heard such, such good things about this. It's very highly praised. It's supposed to be a really great book. So I'm excited to finally have this in my collection. Oh my gosh, this is a chonker. Okay, so this next one, this is one that I am honestly not sure if I'm gonna like, but I really wanna try it out. Uh, I've heard so many people love this book. It's been really highly recommended in the like YA fantasy genre. And I just want to give it a go. I always, it's another one that I always look at when I'm in the bookstore and I see it, but I've just never grabbed. And that is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Um, this, I don't even really know what the story of this one is. Secret society, maybe kind of like dark academia. I'm not really sure. It's why fantasy. It's supposed to be really good. So it could be a hit or miss for me. Um, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's pretty thick. Let me know if you've read this and what your thoughts were. And then the other one is actually another YA fantasy, which is so, <laughs> I don't know, kind of out of character for me, but it's one that I actually think I will like. Like I have a good, just from what I've heard, the vibes, I have a good feeling. I feel like I might like it. Like I feel like there's more potential for me to like this one than the other one because Legendborn has a lot of good reviews, but when I was looking through some of the reviews, some people were saying that it was kind of complicated and that's what really intimidates me about fantasy is when the storyline and the magic or like the politics get kind of convoluted um, or there's a lot of characters, I don't know. Um, so I'm a little nervous that this is gonna be complicated, but the fact that it's YA brings me some comfort because, but who knows, who knows? That could mean nothing. <laughs> We'll see if I'll be able to keep up with it. Um, anyways, the next one that I have a good feeling about, I feel like this has potential for me, is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Um, people just love this book. Like, I keep hearing about it, and I'm so, so curious to read it. So I finally got my hands on a copy. It's definitely not as thick as the other one, so that, um, I like that. <laughs> Um, this one actually it's a duology and the second one just came out fairly recently like within the past couple of months and I th I've just heard that this is like really vibey um, Has a lot of just like letter writing. It's a romance oh, It sounds good when two young rival journalists find love through a magical connection They must face the depths of hell in a war between gods to seal their fate forever It sounds good. I think I'm gonna like this one I hope I like it. And I really wanted the other cover, like the ones with the people on it. I just really like the um, the art on that one. But this is the, I think that that's the UK cover, the one that I like. Um, so this is the only one I've seen here and this is the one that Book of the Month had. So um, it's fine. <laughs> I definitely prefer the other cover though. Anyways, either way, really excited to read this one. Kind of an interesting stack this month are two Y fantasy, uh, I don't even know what this would be, like contemporary fiction probably, um, lit fic, contemporary fiction, and then two thrillers. So yeah, a really great variety. And I'm really challenging myself to read my book of the month picks. Like um, I wanna read at least one of them after I receive every box so that they're not just, all five of them are just sitting on my shelf forever. So one of these is for sure gonna be going on my April TBR. Cast your vote down below of which one of these five I should read first. Okay, hello, I've moved to the couch, but I thought that I would give y'all a little reading update before I sign off. Um, so at the beginning of this vlog, I was reading The Search Party, which was a thriller, mystery thriller kind of thing, which followed four groups of friends that were staying at um, a campsite kind of thing. Um, it was very like stormy vibes, which I always appreciate stormy vibes, but basically somebody went missing and then you're like unraveling, like trying to figure out what happened. And it's told through, it like goes through each point of view from all of the characters. There was a lot of characters, but I actually found it pretty easy to keep track of them. So that was good. Um, but you're, they're like giving their police report and going back in their memories and kind of retelling the story, that kind of style. 
it was actually really good had a lot of just like drama like i think it was more like i don't know there was some kind of juicy drama going on within this friend group that was also <laughs> unraveling um so i gave that four out of five stars i actually liked it more than i thought it was thought i was going to when i first went into it don't think it would be for everybody if like if you just want like a spooky thriller that i don't think i would suggest that one but if you like some kind of drama um in your in a kind of thriller setting i guess um then i think that that was a pretty good one so yeah really liked that and then of course i started nettle and bone which i've kind of mentioned a little bit throughout this vlog just giving little updates letting you know that i am in fact enjoying it which i oh my goodness <laughs> nobody is more surprised than me honestly i was very hesitant like i didn't even really feel excited to start this book i was like you know what i'll give it a go it's the discord um pick for this month so i want to read it and you know it's fun to like hear everyone else's thoughts and stuff so i'm about halfway through this right now and oh my goodness it is just brilliant you guys like it is so so good I'm shook at how much I'm enjoying this. Okay, so this follows our main character, Mara, or Mara, I'm not sure. It has two R's, I've been calling her Mara in my head. Um, but she is born the youngest of three daughters. She's a princess, so she's born into this kingdom. Um, and she, oh my gosh, I'm so bad at summarizing plots. So her two older sisters are married off to this prince. She's the youngest one. She doesn't end up getting married. She kind of, she doesn't want to either. She kind of like dodges that and she goes to live as a nun. Um, but then over like years and years pass and she discovers that the prince that her older sister is married to is an extremely abusive person. So she ends up embarking on a quest to basically kill the prince. And she has to do all of these like challenges to meet this woman that has magic that can help her kill him. So it does have a lot of different fantasy or like magical elements. But even despite that, and I think that this is why I like, like it so much because... Okay, sorry, I just got interrupted because my boyfriend is taking the dogs out for a walk. But um, yeah, I think that that's why I like this because just the, the characters and the storyline are so good. I feel like the like fantastical elements and the magic just kind of adds to this rather than makes the story do you know what i mean um like it's just so great and one of the little like review blurbs at the beginning really summarizes um what like how i feel about this book so far kingfisher's combination of comedy with feminist rage in a complex fairy tale setting makes for a wholly entertaining read and that's like yes the feminist rage vibes but it's just like witty and funny and clever. I've actually laughed out loud a couple of times reading this. So yeah, super, super good. Really, really loving it. And I'm so happy to be reporting that I'm enjoying it so much because yeah, what the heck? I've actually been like dog earing a bunch of pages. So I'm probably gonna go through and tab this after. Really, really loving it so far. And I went in with such low expectations. I don't know why I didn't like, I don't even think I read this on the back, but this is like so iconic. This isn't the kind of fairy tale where the princess marries the prince. It's the one where she kills him. Like, <laughs> I can't with that. That's just too good. I really think that I'm gonna be reading more of T. Kingfisher's books. I think that What Moves the Dead is actually already on my TBR um, on Goodreads and I always see a house with good bones at the bookstore and I like the cover but I've just never picked up any of her books before so yeah I'm really glad that I'm reading this one. And I guess that that is it. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna try to get this edited quickly <laughs> since I'm behind on my like vlog schedule that I was trying to get back onto. But yeah, I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop with my garden planning and all of that kind of fun stuff. So look forward to that throughout the spring and I guess the summer. I'll um, share as much as I can with how that's all going and keep you updated with my books and everything. I don't know what I'm gonna read after this one. We picked out my TBR in the last vlog. I think that I kind of wanna read The Housemaid's Secret just for like a quick, because we're already halfway through the month and that kind of stresses me because I have three more books that I wanted to read this month. So, I mean, it's fine if I don't get to all of them. It's completely fine, um, but hmm. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I choose to read next. It's either going to be that or The Women. Because Legends and Lattes, I don't want to read just yet. Like straight after this fantasy book, I want to kind of give them some breathing room. 
um but yeah we'll see anyways i think that that is going to be it i hope that y'all are doing so well thank you so much as always for tuning into the vlog i really really appreciate your support i look forward to posting these vlogs every single week um yeah it's just it's so fun to um just be able to share my life with you guys and for us to be able to chat about things y'all are always giving me such great suggestions and yeah it's just really nice so thank you with that being said i will leave you here i will chat with you in the comments i'm behind on comments so i'm so sorry that i haven't really been responding to a lot of them lately i need to get back into the rhythm of making time to do that because i really do enjoy interacting with you guys in the comments so much okay i'm just going on and on Bye-bye.